So I'm going to introduce you to Soma. Soma, you can um, take over now and we're really looking forward to hearing your um, talk. Thank you, Soma. Can I start, Sarah? Hello? I'm yes, Soma. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. I can start. I am Shoma Mukhopadhyay from uh, West Bengal uh, in Eastern India. I am doing research on the traditional midwives of Bengal and want to share my research experience which uh, I am researching since 1996 and I have a lot of experience about this poor, poor brave women of our country. So I want to share with you and uh, after my um, presentation you can ask my question. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, a friend is in need is a friend indeed. This is a very uh, common proverb, uh, you know, and this proverb is very much applicable to the women folk of rural India, who earn their livelihood through midwifery, usually known as dai or dhai. And they have been doing all the works related to childbirth for centuries in exchange of nothing, but they live in financial crisis and face social problems. In present time, there are many researchers who are working on exploited marginal people, but very few uh, took interest in our traditional midwives and their profession. So, uh, the uh, time has come to reassess their role and importance. And I uh, just uh, tell you the history of the uh, midwifery. And uh, midwifery is one of the oldest, oldest professions of the world uh, in Gilgamesh, and an ancient epic of uh, circa 2000 BC. We found the existence and important social position of the midwife. As far as India is concerned, in their treatise, the two eminent Indian physicians, Choroko and Shushato, also mentioned the respectable social position of uh, the midwife, the uh, midwife. And uh, now we consider midwives as professionals who are who cut umbilical cord and clean the lying in room. But during the days of Choroko and Shushato, the concept was totally different. Charaka and Shushrata Sangita, we uh, don't find the mention of a midwife in connection with delivery system. We found, find the re reference of a good number of female at, uh, attendants uh, having some important qualities like who are multipara, affectionate, constantly attached to the lady, well-mannered, resourceful, naturally disposed to love, free from grief, tolerance of hardship and agreeable and they are uh, helping the pregnant woman during the time of the delivery. Then what about the midwife or the dhatri uh, in Sanskrit and dai in our uh, Kalukal language. Taroka and Shushrata instructed to call a midwife after 11 days of childbirth only to breastfeed the newborn. According to them, the midwife or wet nurse not only would come from a higher caste family, but also used to be young, beautiful and used to possess a good moral character. The duty of a midwife uh, during this period, it is clear from the above discussion that the duty of a midwife during this period was limited to breastfeed uh, the child and that is why she known as Dugdo Dhatri or the wet nurse. We don't know their salary but for negligence she was punished and uh, this is known from the Orthoshastra of Kotiolo, the classical writer of ancient India. In due course of history, we have noticed how the duty of a midwife gradually changed. And you know the name of Kalidasa, Banavatta and Bhavabhuti. They are classical writers of ancient India. And in their writings, we have noticed the changing uh, social status of a midwife and how she became a uh, governess of the child. And uh, then we have noticed that the um, it is very strange to understand that uh, when and how this function gradually associates itself with the woman of the lower segment of the society. 
it seems to us just a minute okay it seems to us uh, that according to the rigorous instruction of brahmanical society of late medieval period the higher caste women abandoned the profession of the midwifery this was no doubt very unfortunate but one thing is very clear that at the time the midwives never faced any professional hazard or struggle for existence they were all gladly accepted by the society for their important role during the childbirth uh, the actual professional crisis of the midwives mainly the traditional midwives started from the colonial period onward in the first half of the 19th century the christian missionaries who blamed the native midwives and the prevailing system of delivery for the high rate of maternal uh, mortality in the literature uh, of uh, they uh, clearly addressing the, the traditional midwives as dangerous guy as guy is stand from the traditional midwives in the mid of 19th century uh, after the establishment of medical college hospital in calcutta in 1935 the british government wanted to introduce western medical practices in childbirth for the purpose midwifery training program were organized to develop trained midwives in this same situation the traditional midwives in bengal mainly i put my emphasis on bengal uh, bengal faced a very serious crisis because uh, british government uh, most of the training program of the british government required knowledge of english and regular attendance and the mid traditional midwives or guys were also fearful of losing their job as most of most of their uh, clients were satisfied with the indigenous system and would never have allowed the western medicalization of childbirth and their most of uh, the midwives are uh, were illiterate so they don't uh, follow the course the english uh, course of the time of the training of the uh, midwifery so uh, they have started uh, this is the crisis in their uh, professional uh, in in their profession and uh, unfortunately uh, our newly educated women of this period also agreed with the view of the colonial state and they wrote a good number of articles in support of replacing the midwives with functional midwives or the trained midwives who are coming from the families of very well to do families or uh, most of them are widows or uh, anglo indian etc and thus began the struggle during a time considered an age of female empowerment to sustain this traditional birthing communities and it is very interesting that uh, uh, and um, on one hand this uh, edu english uh, educated women Uh, saying about economic um, uh, empowerment of the women of our country and the, on the other hand they want to stop the midwifery the traditional midwifery and uh, without knowing that uh, this is the uh, complete earning of the of, of, of this poor uh, uh, our poor big sister the midwifery was their only earning so uh, Do, uh, uh, and uh, and we have a good number of um, records that some uh, doctors that some benevolent doctors like jodinath mukhopadhyay or um, uh, bamondas mukherjee who wrote a good number of book to train the traditional midwives and side by side they go to the villages going to the villages and uh, um, uh, starting training of the traditional midwives or the native midwives and they said that without their training we couldn't take the maternal mortality because most of our indian families or bengali families depended on the traditional uh, midwives this is the system of the colonial period next uh, the uh, i concentrated on the midwives of bengal and uh, there was a hope that the situation may change after india's independence in 1947 but then also we find nothing but the legacy of the colonial era there were some so called training programs for the guys but even these were not satisfactory 
and this was more or less uh, the repetition of the colonial system of midwifery training and the guys uh, though uh, sometimes they are very benefited by the by this training but they this training cannot touch their heart they say that they don't want to know about the anatomy but they want to know about the training from the, the deep core of, the, of their heart and they know that they know uh, something about the anatomy according uh, to their own experience and they want to change the experience with the doctors who giving their training but the doctors uh, doing a routine work that they uh, started the training and uh, it, it is a training of uh, uh, most probably 10 days and after the 10 days they stop the training and they give, uh, 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 give a certificate or some money and uh, 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 guide this to them and allow them to just uh, practice and uh, sometimes they are given a job in uh, uh, some uh, uh, primary health centers uh, at a very low cost uh, salary and uh, 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 sometimes they, uh, they had to remain unpaid month after month due to the lack of the regular supply of the funds. Very recently the government has discontinued the training program saying that the guys are not suitable for deliveries. Now uh, they want more and more ANM and GNM, but, uh, but without training a good number of uh, rural midwives uh, who are practicing in the rural areas and uh, who are the only uh, caregiver to the mother and the child, they just uh, uh, announced that they stop the program and they want to uh, train the ANM and GNM in the uh, in our country. So. Uh, this is a very um, critical situation in here, particularly in uh, Bengal. And after extensive study of the life and culture of midwives in West Bengal, I have reached the conclusion that most Indians have very little knowledge of tra traditional midwives. So I put emphasis to uh, find out their uh, skill, their uh, way of uh, training, uh, uh, their way of uh, thinking, and how they are very very close to the fam rural families, particular to the mothers and the mothers in the extreme uh, rural areas of Bengal, they won't go to the hospital because of the fear and they, uh, they are not very satisfied with the hospital uh, uh, circumstances and they are very uh, free with their midwives as uh, 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 they are very close and they feel that midwives are like their mother. And you know that during the time of labor, uh, uh, the women feel a different uh, psychological uh, phenomena which, uh, that she, uh, in her, uh, or, uh, that um, feeling some uh, psychological problem during the time of delivery and a midwife, a dual midwife, I have my own experience to see that how she can help the uh, lady with the tender touch or etc etc who is the they own find find in the hospital bed okay so and this is uh, you you can just see, see the picture she is aluka bauri a uh, woman of uh, lower class untouchable lower class bauri is considered as uh, as one of the lower castes of bengal and uh, she is uh, also uh, 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 an agricultural labor because during the, this time, she could, uh, cannot depend uh, on uh, midwife fee uh, totally because the rate of uh, the growing rate of the hospitals are uh, hospitals, and sometimes uh, she has no job, so she must depend on the agricultural labor or house uh, house uh, work like make carbon, etc., etc. This is an interesting feature. And I think this is uh, most probably uh, found in Bengal. They, they are the four cartridge midwives. I am working in a uh, in an office which dealt with the folk and tribal cultural of Bengal. And I find a good number of midwives in the rural areas are en engaging with uh, practicing folk art. 
This is an interesting feature of Bengal. In the rural areas of large numbers of midwives are folk artists such as dancers, singers, painters, actors and they, uh, they earn their livelihood through it and side by side practicing midwives too. Midwife too. In this picture you see Usha Boisho. Uh, uh, who is a traditionally uh, traditional midwife and traditional queen and basket uh, uh, basket artist? She made beautiful uh, uh, basket and uh, queen um, queen work. This is uh, you, you you see from this uh, picture, and uh, she also a drama artist. She uh, she is the writer of many dramas, folk dramas, uh, which is known as Khan in uh, in bengal and uh, she uh, in, uh, she put emphasis the training of the midwives and uh, perform, perform in the presence of the local audience about the crisis of the midwives in rural area she is trained at, at the midwife but she has no job and she requesting uh, requested every time whenever i met her that please give us the job because we are trained midwives this is the picture of Bengal and among them the most important uh, important is the folk painter which, uh, who are known as Potuas or uh, uh, Potuas or the skull painter. Skull painting is a very ancient uh, art form of India and now the people who have settled down in Midnapur district of Bengal and uh, they are known as Potuas and they are mostly uh, following the Muslim uh, religion and using the uh, two names. One Muslim name and one is another is uh, Hindu name. Because according to the Hindu tradition, uh, in ancient times, they, uh, 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 according to the Hindu tradition, the painters are considered as the lower uh, class and so they uh, converted to the Muslim uh, religion. During the time of medieval age or uh, some uh, later of that time, I don't know the exact exact time and I am researching on this uh, thing. So you can see the two uh, uh, midwives next in the next slide and which is very important. And this is Baharjan. Baharjan Pitsokar is a trained midwife and she, uh, she is uh, a good painter and a skull painter and her uh, Hindu name is Jomuna Tittokar but now she is using the Bahadjan Tittokar and she is a trained midwife and she knows uh, every tidbit of the midwifery and uh, in, in her community she is the only midwife in, uh, in Western Midnapur uh, her, she lives in Naya a village of uh, Western Midnapur and she is the only trained midwife in her community and she and another is uh, Sirisan Chitrakar of Christian Midnapur district and she is untrained, though she is untrained but she also knows a bit, uh, a bit, bit of midwifery and she told me that her uh, daughter-in-law uh, denied to go to the hospital due to the fear that uh, the, the, uh, the atmosphere is not good for the delivery she said and the child you, uh, you see the child and the, she is a granddaughter of Serifan and Serifan uh, had the delivery of her uh, son uh, uh, sorry daughter-in-law and she is her grand, uh, granddaughter and she uh, knew uh, midwifery from her uh, young age and she said that uh, she, uh, he, uh, this is very interesting as in the case of Jomuna, Jomuna's mother is also uh, knows the art of midwifery but Sirifan has an interest to know the, this art so she is sitting through the window of, uh, of a delivery room when she was young and uh, the elders asked them not to do that but she has uh, had a very uh, curiosity and uh, through, uh, and in this way she knew the art of midwifery and she is, uh, she is now a uh, uh, traditional midwife but she uh, does not have a, uh, have a training and eagerly waiting for a training and you can see the in the next uh, two slides that what is the role of these two midwives 
one is trained and one is untrained. And I ask them to draw picture. They can draw any picture, any picture uh, out of their mind or uh, the event which happened in the society. And I ask them to draw any picture about the birth practice in the rural area. So they draw according to their own uh, experience. And I uh, and you can see that two uh, pictures, one from Baharjan. And in this picture you can see that this is the outcome of a trend midwife. Here you see the scissors, the boiling water and the technique of the midwife using a light. And whereas you can see the uh, picture of the rural uh, remote uh, village of India, India and uh, also in Bengal, this is the picture of the delivery system that one midwife is assisting the birth and uh, and on any three of the householder uh, or any neighbor, they are helping the lady and she is using a same basket called dhama for the uh, for, uh, for a good delivery or for the uh, for uh, labor pain or easy labor pain. So you can see the designs of a trained midwife, the picture of a trained midwife and the picture of a untrained midwife. And next you uh, see that this is the bath painting. I uh, just invent this uh, type of painting and I think that uh, that would be help uh, the midwives uh, during their training if we can arrange training. In, uh, now in Bengal we arrange uh, training uh, from NGO or any um, social uh, um, service group um, though this is stopped by the government so we can go to the remote villages and uh, arranging training and I uh, think that if we have uh, so many training like literacy and birth control and etc and, uh, etc so why have not we uh, introduced this type of birth painting and I ask especially Baharjan to draw this type of painting and you can see that this is the picture of a trained midwife with her kids on uh, one hand and uh, this, this is a very uh, white uh, 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 red border uh, sari wearing a sari a dress especially dress for the midwife and uh, check the mother and the child and help uh, uh, the mother during the time of the uh, delivery and in, in the rural areas the people depend to the uh, midwife just uh, after the conceive of the lady. So this is the picture of a trained midwife. Next you can see some sample of birth painting. Here, here you can see that uh, Baharjan, uh, when I ask Baharjan they what they are, uh, um, uh, they, know, they are knowing from their training and she said that uh, they asked to uh, uh, take uh, nutritious food for the mother and take uh, uh, sufficient rest. So she, uh, she, uh, she uh, draw the picture that the mother is taking nutritious food and she should take rest. Enough rest for the mother. Here you uh, see the picture. And he uh, expresses his uh, feeling through the painting. And this is very important for the pregnant lady in the rural areas in our countries because the in-laws house never allowed to uh, the ladies for uh, nutritious food or uh, enough rest. They are working almost uh, in the household work. And so uh, she uh, draw this picture for me that this is the first uh, type of bath painting she draw. Sorry, sorry. And next, that a trained midwife regularly check a lady. Here you see that she can check her tongue and her hair. She knows that what is the problem during the time of the pregnancy. Uh, she know, knows from her training and she has already uh, some practical knowledge from of her own and uh, 
this is uh, another thing that is very interesting that she always allow the uh, pregnant lady to the uh, go to the uh, health center for check up and here you can see that the uh, that the lady in the uh, uh, anm not the doctor anm she is uh, taking the iron tablet and who she get to the pregnant lady and the midwife she uh, all uh, she uh, 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 help her to go to the clinic and collect the iron tablets and the tetanus injection for this delivery. And this is very important. Uh, and sometimes, if there is problem or there is no problem, she must have a check. Uh, as uh, uh, in in the early uh, in the advanced stage of delivery, she always uh, uh, allow uh, also assist the lady to the health center and the doctor. Here is the here you find the doctor and this is in the sub center and the doctors are uh, taking the lady and uh, if there is any trouble during the home birth, then she to uh, take her to the hospital or the health center. and this is uh, very not uh, very good in our in the remote uh, remote villages you know that in the remote villages like sundarban a fring area where uh, is covered with jungle and uh, jungle and um, forest where is very uh, difficult to go to the health center uh, crossing the river but uh, the village which is uh, very uh, near to the city or the uh, or related area there is uh, so, uh, hospitals or the sub centers and the midwives also assist to uh, the lady if there is any problem to manage uh, to the uh, doctor and this is one of uh, this is very important that she must take the weight of the newborn just after birth this is the weight machine or this is a hanging weight machine a low cost machine and she uh, might uh, sit uh, uh, just wait the lead uh, the newborn and wash him after the delivery just delay after delay cord cutting then she was uh, the uh, newborn and also uh, um, just take her him, this uh, newborn uh, uh, weight and this is the uh, training center for which i connect uh, to and i i am connected with this uh, training uh, center run by an ngo sundarban uh, shimanto satya poriseva or the sundarban uh, environmental research and uh, health center and uh, just i uh, mention the name of sundarban which is a spring area of uh, south bengal and here is the you see the this is the uh, the training center and uh, the clinic a small clinic and there is no electricity so we have uh, we have uh, some arrangement of uh, solar light and this, uh, this is the midwife this is the midwife so so uh, this is the midwife and uh, you Sorry, sorry. This is the midwife, and and uh, the this is the mid uh, midwife here uh, attending uh, the uh, session of uh, training program. Sorry, that is a problem of uh, the slide. Just do it, okay? Mm. And uh, attending the uh, uh, our uh, training. and they are very good and they want to uh, know about midwifery from us and there are uh, also doctors from uh, cities they can arrange medical checkup along with the training of the midwives we frequently go there and train them up there you can see that uh, there are so many um, uh, midwives from the, this uh, area and who are very willing to see uh, to know about the midwifery this is that uh, uh, picture of the bengal, of bengal and uh, uh, and as uh, before i conclude i say something about the position of the midwives 
the traditional midwives in our country. Regardless, we in India cannot ignore the work of the traditional midwives. They are an asset to our country. It is interesting to note that many traditional childbirth practice like squatting position. You have seen already the uh, terracotta uh, plaque, uh, the first picture of uh, my slide, where you can, uh, where you see the uh, any uh, a birth uh, scenes. Uh, the, a lady in squatting position and attending by her uh, three midwives. So, like, uh, it is interesting to note that many traditional child bath practices like squatting position, perennial message, delayed cord cutting, and continuous caregiver support have recently found scientific scientific validity. Each day, these great midwives face a new challenge to their existence. It is unfortunate that under the strong influence of globalization, some people oppose the indigenous delivery system, especially the doctors. Uh, in our, um, in, uh, in our uh, state, the indigenous uh, doctors or the gynecologists, there are few uh, who are very benevolent and very good, but most of them insist the people to go to the hospital for C-section and never uh, allow to train the midwife. They said clearly that they don't uh, do anything. They don't anything and rubbish. They use this very dumb rubbish. And I am uh, very much uh, arguing with them and say that just go to the remote village and see the position of the people, uh, especially the birthing women. I had an experience that uh, in uh, in 31st January of uh, 2001, in Sund uh, I went to the Sund uh, Sundarbans for the medical camp, and I have uh, I and I, I have seen the position of a delivery uh, or the delivery and the position of a lady uh, named Duna Gain, and she delivered in in a in her home, and the uh, delivery uh, and the, that delivery is a very typical that was a bridge presentation and uh, this is the second uh, style of Bina and the midwife with uh, her skill and uh, the grandmother and the mother of Bina helped her during the night when she uh, had no chance to go to the health center and when they call her, uh, they, uh, they came to us after her delivery and uh, we uh, go to we went to uh, her home and our doctor uh, checked her and advised some something and uh, very uh, interesting to note that the, the same thing is uh, told by the grandmother of Bina. And the delivery, though it, this is a very, this was a very, very um, uh, complicated delivery. And at that night, I felt that the training of the midwife is very uh, necessary for the uh, for this poor woman of the village. And the doctors who are practicing in the city areas and said that they are rubbish. Is this uh, fair? I don't believe that this is not fair. This is not fair. Without knowing the history of our midwifery, that Indian midwifery has a good history, as I told you something about the history. So, we can't ignore the service of the midwife. We can't uh, ignore them. We have to respect them and we must uh, train them up that if we uh, train them, they can uh, and blend uh, their uh, knowledge. With modern midwifery, they can do wonder. I think, and in every respect, I, and in and every uh, in, uh, sorry, I I respect them all. I have uh, each and every day converse them, and they are uh, very very nice women, and they want to uh, do everything for the sake of the midwifery. As you see, the bath painting. I uh, think that this is an innovative. Uh, thing in uh, Bengal and if we are uh, using the four parties that those who are the dramatists and they can even help the uh, child especially that uh, take care of girl child and in, in our Bengal this is the very very unfortunate, unfortunate thing that uh, we have female city side that is very very dangerous to in our uh, country and the, and it is the um, uh, and one midwife can stop this 
because she is very close to the family if after the, the birth of a girl child we have take the care of her uh, she uh, has no uh, problem during the time of labor who said that this is the uh, fault of the midwife no this is not the fault of the midwife this is the fault of the family who are not taking the care of a girl child and you know that the problem begin with the uh, with the malnutrition malnutrition is uh, the main cause uh, for the complicated delivery when the child uh, is uh, is uh, in in her um, adult age and we are blaming on the midwife we have to stop this fast and one midwife can do this she can uh, convince the family please take care of your girl child she is the uh, uh, future mother of the nation so you can we can stop this uh, female suicide or take care of the girl child is in the sex education and the training of the midwife sorry see a trained mid, uh, rural midwife they are very very close to the uh, family this is the point of my uh, research and i so i uh, want them want the bahar jan to draw this bath painting and i want to i want uh, we uh, we are using this painting during the time of our uh, training in sundarban and this is very very easy to understand about the rural mothers and the uh, untrained midwives how to take care of the lady how to take care of the new natal and here i just put some one or two pictures not the full set so the time is problem so i just this is the example for the bath painting and this is i think that that will help not in uh, bengal throughout the india where there is uh, uh, rural midwife why uh, this uh, this is uh, untrained midwife and do untrained we cannot uh, ignore them we always we have to respect them we have to respect them so the deep core of ma thank you hello sir ma thank you so much that was a, a wonderful presentation and um we uh, and some of those slides are just amazing thank you, thank you, the images the pictures you, you did a brilliant job then i i congratulate you considering you're over there with no help and um all by yourself getting this sorted out my congratulations to you um we we're pretty much nearly out of time is there anyone who has a question to say ma before we finish up for the session So I'm just asking if anyone's got any questions they would like to ask. I guess I'm just going to have a look in the chat and see if anybody wants to leave a question. Otherwise, um, we'll um. Is there any question, Sarah? I am I I am looking for questions and any suggestions. So well, I think I think that we I think we um. ครับครับอาจารย์ครับอาจารย์ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
Oh, that's lovely, Heatherly. So, Heatherly is saying that um, he loved your last comment about respect. So, um, thank you very much for that. I'm going to um, thank you, thank you, I'm going to bring this session to a close now. I'm going to turn the recorder off.